What's up guys, it's BT here. It's been a minute, but we are back with episode seven of Upcoming Group Buys, where I let you guys know the sexiest keyboards, keycaps, and even switches that are coming out in the near future. We've got some catching up to do. We've got some real bangers for you today. Before we begin though, guys, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. With the premium membership, it gives you unlimited access to join the perfect community to get the skills you need to become successful in your field. I get asked all the time, BT, I wanna start editing, or I wanna start color grading, or I wanna learn these transitions, or titles, and the way I learned it was through Skillshare. It's been a great resource for me, and I know it can be a great resource for a lot of you guys as well. Some of these same effects that you are seeing in my videos are the same ones that I learned from Skillshare. And not only that, they've got some amazing classes for everyday life, like Mastering Habits from Thomas Frank. And then I mentioned there's no pesky ads to get in the way of you and your learning. It's extremely affordable at less than $10 a month for the annual subscription, and because Skillshare is sponsoring this this video, the first 1,000 people to sign up with a link in the description get a trial free. And you guys know I only work with companies that benefit you guys in some way, so here it is guys. Do not sleep on this offer because it really can help change your life. Now first off might be my favorite keycap set of the month, the GMK Fundamentals. At first it might look like a basic plain set, but not so fast because the accent kit will give you purple, blue, and green accents for like the space bars, for the enter key keys for the escape keys so you can either mix and match and make something beautiful all of these colors somehow go together it's actually insane or if you just want to tailor one color to your setup maybe you have a green setup a purple one or a blue one you can do that as well these are going to look super clean on a gray board on a white board and possibly even a black case as well and also i think it's going to work great on a purple case as well we have one of those in the lineup today so check back because you might want to cop this set with the purple board we have coming later in the video Especially this cables is also running a cable drop on this as well so you'll be able to match the cable to the set it's just gonna look gorgeous when it comes out and next up from the creator of the GMK Bento one of my favorite sets and also the Bushido that dropped earlier this year late last year I can't remember correctly but the GMK honor looks to be one of the sets of the year so it takes that same bluish gray that was on the Bushido and made it a little bit more minimal so they have a dark set which is $95 great price price and they have beige lettering on that with the katakana and then on the other side we have the light base with the beige on the keycaps and the lettering is going to be that bluish gray and then they have a light and dark add-on as well and that'll give you like the swords the samurai helmets on the sides i love this whole theme of this set and then i mentioned the mouse pad looks sick as hell as well i feel like this set is going to go great with a navy keyboard if you want to have something different it's going to go great with a silver keyboard or a white keyboard as well next up Let's talk about the GMK Think Caps. Now, I simultaneously love and hate this keycap set at the same time because at work I actually use a Lenovo keyboard and it's just bringing back bad memories, okay, at my day job. Meanwhile, I love it because I never thought that this combination would look good on a custom keyboard but it looks spectacular. It's gonna look great on a blackboard and I think that's about it. And then you gotta get the novelties kit to get that red iconic dot in the middle of your keyboard. You can switch out one of the rows for it. That would be pretty cool. It's a really cool concept when you really think about it. And then they also have the accent kit with a couple of different colors if you do wanna mix it up with this minimal set. I'm surprised they didn't drop a mouse pad for this one. I think that was kind of a missed opportunity. Next up, the goat is back, Mito. He's back with another set. This is the GMK Pixel. This one is another Another cool concept as it has the same symbol on every single keycap so as long as you change the keycap within the row it's gonna be exactly the same so it's like a blank but not really a blank and then the escape key is gonna have this little pixel character up at the top you know we love those retro vibe and for the accent kit they have the teal red green and purple giving you flexibility with this minimal set once again so just like the other ones it'll allow you to customize your setup if you just get that you have five different colorways that you can work with 
at the end of the day. If you want to one month have it be green and the next month it's teal, you can do that. It's simple. And you can do that by just switching out a few keycaps and you're done. I also love the black arrow keys in the accent kit as well with the colored symbols. That looks sick as well. Then again, the mouse pads look amazing as well. Very minimal, very simple. I love that red one. You guys know I love those kind of retro red colors. So that's right up my alley. Mito, once again, just take my money. So the next set that we have is the EPBT Modern JA. I think that's what it's called, or Modern Japan. I'm not sure. It's not going to break the bank. It's only $75 for the base kit, and that will fill out a TKL if you want to go with a full size keyboard. I don't know who uses those anymore, but you can get the full size kit to add on to this. But this set is very bright white with black lettering and has the cross position katakana on there, just like the old vintage keyboards from Japan. So yeah, if you're not a fan of ABS and the feel or the sound, you can go with these EPBT ones. I kind of regret not going with some of the older EPBT keycap sets that came out and uh, kind of kicking myself. So I'm definitely gonna hop in on this one. It's gonna look great on a white or a black board. All right, so next up we have another Another set that has been growing on me day by day. I had to cop it already before I even put out this video. It is the GMK Hallyu. Hallyu. This is based off of Southern Korean culture, and that's something we don't normally see. Usually, it's based off of Japan and Japan sub legends. But here we have the Korean lettering, the Hangul lettering on the sub legends, and I think it looks really, really sick. They have this little gradient going on. It's like dark colors, and then you've got different colors in the middle, and then back to dark. Now, it's not a full gradient, but somehow this works, going from that dark blue down to like that yellow. And the accent kit has callbacks to Southern Korean culture, like the soju or the heart with the fingers. We've all seen it. But yeah, I like this set a lot, already picked it up. I think this is gonna look good with a black case, a navy case, or even a white case. And definitely a polycarbonate case will look absolutely sick with this. All right, so there are no switches of the month this month because I feel like everything that's been coming out has been a recolor of a JWK and I'm tired of it, okay? So switch manufacturers, step it up. We want something other than JWK. They're great, we love them, but we have them already, okay? So, I mean, I guess that's a hot take. Can we say that? Switch manufacturers. You're the hot take of the month, all right? I'm doing the, the Donald Trump. All right, anyways, let's get back on track. We're gonna look at some keyboards. We've got a lot of budget options this time. I've been wanting to go with budget options because I feel like that helps you guys out the most, not these high-end crazy keyboards. I think all the manufacturers of keyboards kind of realize that they need a gateway keyboard into the higher end stuff or the mid range stuff. When you're spending 400 or when you're asking somebody that's never bought a keyboard to spend $500, that hurts. When you're asking somebody to spend 160, like the Ramakara, that's a little bit more manageable for people to say, hey, let me pick one up. And Rama is one of the more renowned custom keyboard manufacturers, so you know you are in good hands. Um, it's $160, like I said, for the whole kit. This is hot swap. It is molding injected, so there are gonna be some little imperfections with inside the case, but not on the outside, so keep that in mind. You might see that if you get it. Don't come back here and yell at me. It's made up of high quality ABS, and the plate material is my personal favorite plate material, and that is polycarbonate, so you know this thing is gonna sound good. And also has mute mounting and if I'm not mistaken that's just gasket mounting so it's gonna sound really good and then it's hot swap which is perfect for a beginner keyboard because you can try a bunch of different switches if you don't know what you want and this one comes in a bunch of different colors I really like the moon and that purple one it gives me those classic Game Boy color vibes and I think it looks really cool it's gonna look great with like a GMK Taro or a Skeletor set an all purple set that's gonna look mm, chef kiss so yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a real banger. You've got a renowned company, you've got a great price, it's hot swap, a lot to love about the Ramakara. So Glorious, in true Glorious fashion, has decided to release the GMMK Pro. So I wanna talk about that a little bit because you can reserve one right now for $70. And they're gonna be running for around 170 retail once they do come out. But this one is just looking like a real banger. Glorious knows they got their ear to the street. As I've said in other videos of their mice, they got their ear to the street. They know what you guys want. They saw what happened with the Satisfaction 75 and they've come out with a 75% keyboard with a knob. It's a CNC aluminum plate with the Glorious name along the bottom. And it's gonna be a gasket mount, which is my favorite mount. And it's gonna have that sound absorbed 
description, mm, it's gonna be one good sounding keyboard. Then they're also putting in the GOAT stabilizers. And if I know Glorious, I have a feeling that these are gonna be similar to what's popular right now. And that is the Duroc Stab. So I'm very hopeful that the GOAT stabilizers are pretty much gonna be the Duroc Stabs but Gloria style. And another selling point of the GMMK Pro is that you're gonna be able to use it with the Gloria software. So you don't have to flash anything. You don't have to worry about QMK. And it's got RGB flanking along the sides giving me those Duck Orion vibes. So it's like a, a duck and a Satisfaction 75 had a baby and now it is the GMMK Pro. Absolutely amazing, glorious. And these are coming out quarter one. You can reserve one right now for $70 in a black or a white. And it's $170 total, like I said before. It's coming in quarter one, so it's gonna be available very, very soon. Quick turnaround time, quarter two at the latest for the second batch. So yeah, there's a lot to love about the GMMK Pro. All right, guys, I hope you saw something that you liked. It has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for the next episode. We're gonna have number eight coming very shortly hopefully sooner than this one came i need to make it up to you guys so uh, i will see you in the next video peace